Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and we are back, back, back again for a new Amberlynn Reed reaction. It feels like it's been forever since I did like a genuine reaction, I guess, because this week I did a big recap of all of the Amberlynn stuff and I've been putting more space and time in between my videos about her because I have so many other things to cover, like the 1,000 pound sisters and the 1,000 pound best friends. Now, it is a Thursday, which normally would mean that I was posting my review of the 1,000 pound besties, but I just wanted to try something new this week where we switched it up and put some time in between the 1,000 pound sisters and the 1,000 pound besties. So I'll have a 1,000 pound bestie review tomorrow for you all to watch and enjoy. So just stay tuned for that. I'll get it posted for you tomorrow. I just thought we could use a little intermission in the 1,000 pound cinematic universe this week. And I just wanted to see what that would look like. Okay, all right. And on top of that, just one quick note and announcement from Amberlynn Reed since my last video. If you did watch my last video, you might recall that I pointed out that it was weird that she said that she was no longer reading comments and things like that on her videos, but yet had posted on her community tab post about how much she appreciated all the support. And just uh, 18 hours ago from, <laughs> from when I'm filming this, 18 hours ago, she made another community tab post saying, I'm officially back to reading and responding to comments under my videos. The support is amazing, thank you. So wow, what, what a quick turnaround after I and probably others pointed out that it doesn't make any sense that she was apparently not reading the comments but did appreciate the support. Now she is just putting it out there that she is in fact reading them again. So good to know, <laughs> good to know. Happy, happy to see that. Honestly, truly, I think not reading the comments is probably best for her. And to be quite honest with you, I know right now she has an influx of support, which I think is great. Probably a combination of her doing well on her, her diet and also a combination of all the French people that are coming there. I would never encourage anybody to go send hateful stuff to her and I, I please don't. That's so silly. Please do not listen to what I'm saying. Don't do that. But I think ultimately there's going to be people who are going to continue saying not nice things and I think it would probably be best for her to continue the boundary of not reading her comments. It's probably part of why she's been so successful. You know what I'm saying? Like, that boundary was working for you, allegedly, if that's what you were doing. So why would you not just keep doing that? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, besides the point, uh, if you made it this far, uh, thank you. Otherwise, I'll <laughs> leave timestamps. Me telling you that I'll leave timestamps is not helpful when I'm literally about to get ready to start the video, but there will be a timestamp where the reaction starts, okay? And, and it's right here. So today's video is called How My GI Scan Went Psych Appointment Update. Well, it says apt. Psych apt update and Titanic Lego, which is what I'm really here for today bar vlog. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Hello, hello. Welcome Hi. to a new vlog. I have been really bad with intros and outros. Ah. So. Oh, she is taking notes. She is. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if she watches my videos anymore or not. You know, she goes either day uh, saying that she does or doesn't watch reaction channels, me, Alex, whoever it might be. Uh, but I did give this note, so I'm so glad we're getting a little a little intro, even if it's a voiceover. I'm trying to work on that. I work. hope that you guys are having a good day, and I hope that work. you guys enjoy this video. I'm glad we're still working on that after eight, nine years of being on YouTube. Love to see that. Love to see it. Okay, so we have a grocery haul. Ugh, uh, yes. We are shopping for groceries two times a week. She really is giving me my full, like, Dollar Tree mom diva fantasy of, of regular grocery hauls. I'm loving it. Although it is sometimes the boring part of the episode, so I don't know that I'm going to have a lot to say. I've also paused way too much for only being 19 seconds into this video. And it's working out really good since we're not ordering takeout or anything like that. Not only are we saving money, but we're like... Okay. Actually, not wasting any food. Yes. We're eating it all. We're eating it all. Yes. My budgeting queen. So first things first, we got two of these 
beef sirloin steaks. Are we not gonna take it out of the plastic we got wrapping? Some chicken oh, sirloins. Wait. I don't know why I asked that. Of course we're not. She doesn't like the meat. She doesn't like to touch the meat. We got some fresh chicken wings. Oh fuck, that's we a got shit ton. Some whole grain thin spaghetti. Yes. I angel hair. But I don't think they have whole grain angel hair, so thin spaghetti is like perfect. Work. We want to make a little uh, trail mix moment with nuts. So we got mm. roasted and salted pistachios. What do you What do you know about making a little trail mix moment with some nut? <laughs> what do you know about that? Salted whole cashews, salted peanuts, and then honey roasted almonds. This is a little bit of a a splurge, if you will. Okay. <laughs> um, I really love scalloped potatoes. All right. So I am going to have just like a serving of this with some protein and veggies. Okay. It's honestly so good. I recommend this, you guys. Ugh, great comfort food. Sure. We got some sure. mozzarella sure, 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 cheese, sure. some shredded Mexican yes. style blend, which is my favorite. I'm loving the cheese section of this. This is great. This is great. The scalloped potatoes, I got some questions about. I mean, like, you could also just make them yourself. I wonder what that would be like. But you know what? Splurge if you want. <laughs> if you want, I suppose. Get get the, the, the processed little scalloped potato package. The rest of this is just protein and cheese, apparently. We got some brie. Some salami, cottage cheese, Ooh, yes. easy cottage cheese, which is the brand to get it. Trust me. Do a dollar. Some jalapeno do, do peppers. Do a dollar. Which we use with like almost everything we eat. <laughs> it's so good. We got some squash. Okay. Zucchini. Okay. Scallion. Okay. How much? Also, how much fucking green onions are they going through? And that's a serious question because, like, we get. <laughs> a bunch of, of green onions, like a little bushel of green onions, usually like every couple weeks. And I feel like she's getting, like she said, groceries like twice a week and every single one has green onions in it. And on top of that, you can repurpose, like if you don't cut the roots or like throw away the root part of it, you can like regrow some green onions too, which is a thing that we do a lot in our house. So I'm just like, wow, y'all are really going through the green onion, damn. We got some bananas, which those are nowhere near ripe, or my version of ripe. I like when they're like bruised up a bit. Got some pears, grapefruit, which I've never had a grapefruit before, so I might have to try it with you guys. Some grapes, some um, pineapple here, apples, a little tiny watermelon, a big thing of broccoli and also some fresh pineapple so now wait did she get fresh pineapple and pineapple in a container <laughs> did she really or was that not pineapple i was kind of to be honest with you i was kind of not i was i was full on daydreaming during the fruit portion of this you know i even though i am a little fruity myself i was I was definitely not paying attention. <laughs> I'm gonna put this all away. Ooh, the next day. Hello, hello, hi. Hey, bestie. Hi. So I'm actually. <gasps> oh, you know what? This is a good point for me to point out something, which is that I was like questioning why she was already wearing the the fabric softener stained shirt again. And I totally forgot that it was probably because the first time I saw her wearing it was just on her weekly weigh-in type of video. And she was wearing this outfit in the weekly weigh-in type of video as well. And so I think that's my, my place of confusion. That's why I am confusion, you know? So it's fine. It's fine. But the timeline is very confusing to me, if, if we're being honest. Getting ready for the day. Today I am actually filming my weigh-in because it was my weigh-in day today. Yeah, I just I'm pointed that out. Makeup first. So uh, last night slash yesterday evening, whatever, um, we went to the theaters and saw Megan. I oh, to see it. Were so bad, and so has Feline. Has she talked about going to see a movie in the movie theaters in a while? The work, stunning. Also for Megan as well, stunning. That's like she's a gay icon, and I don't watch scary movies, so I'll never see it. But I've heard she's a gay icon, and I love that Amberlynn is supporting our community. 
her community, our collective community. Um, her and I both have a movie theater fear, and it's really weird because okay. I mentioned it to her first, and I was, like, embarrassed to, like, tell her, I was, uh-huh. like, because it's a weird fear. I have had this fear... It's actually not that weird. I've actually heard a lot of people, I know a lot of people in my personal life who are, in fact, afraid of going to theaters or don't like going to theaters, so, I mean, I, I don't want to invalidate it, because I'm sure, like, maybe she doesn't know a lot of people that way, but I'm just, I'm just saying, like, I've actually heard a lot of people have fears of the movie theater. For probably a decade now, um, it has stopped me from going to the movie theater a lot, but it hasn't stopped me from going, period, sure. until recently. Um, the last few years, I haven't gone to the theater, but maybe once or twice. Yeah, it's been a long time. I'm going to say twice. Uh, so in fact, I'm like sh- the last time I remember her saying anything about the theater, and I'm I'm not I'm, my my remembrance isn't great, but the last time I remember her saying something about it was back when she went to a movie with Becky, Eric, and Ricky, and Becky went and saw Black Panther, I think, or some other Marvel movie. And Amberlynn didn't want to see it, so she went and allegedly saw a movie by herself or something like that. I could not be remembering that correctly because, let's be very serious, that's not the most important moment or detail in history about Amberlynn Reed. But I, that was the last time I really remember the movie theater even coming up. I'm trying to live out of my comfort zone a little bit here, but yeah, sit in um, discomfort. The not worse. Sit For in some discomfort. Reason, I'm in the theater. You know I feel what? Like someone's gonna come in. And sit in discomfort. Yeah, maybe it's time to sit with our discomfort. Are you comfortable? Or are you sitting with your discomfort? Let's 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 do a little of sitting with our discomfort. And like unalive me. I don't know what it is, but I told Feline about it, and she was like, "Oh my god, I've never met anyone else with that fear." Okay, so this also brings me. Where are the backs to my earrings? Sorry, oh. I'm looking. I'm looking, and I can't find them. Um, they're usually in the same spot. <laughs> so I have a weird thing about, oh my god, I can't even say it. Clusters of things. Ew! I'm sorry, baby. <coughs> like, wait, ugh, I'm getting the goosebumps. Wait, out. why, why did wifey just shout ew? Just because she said the word clusters? What about a moist cluster? What what about a moist cluster of tender meat flaps? <laughs> Maybe if you put a bunch of words like that all together. She didn't say anything about the word moist, tender, or meat flaps. Or meat and or flaps. But I think all of those words together are kind of a lot. A moist cluster of tender meat flaps. Ooh, doesn't that just sound so nice? Oh, people don't understand it. Unless you understand it. Like holes, clusters of like dots. Uh huh. See, I'm starting to like shake. I Girl, I think it's because last night I was on TikTok. God, I ugh. TikTok ruined my night. Uh, a little bit before bed because I was just scrolling. Uh huh. Having the time of my life. Where are the backs of my earrings? Oh my God! Can you just focus and tell me the story? I don't care about the backs of your earrings. You know what? We're not going to worry about that. Thank right you. Now. So I was scrolling. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Ooh. And there was something I saw in there that sent me into a spiral. I don't really know what it is, but, like, I've never met anyone else who felt this way. This one, for me, started in high school. Um, I remember I was in biology class. Uh-huh. And we're just, like, doing our work in the textbook. I flipped oh. the page. Oh. And there was this leg on there. What, what is this dramatic retelling of the story? There was this leg on there. Like, what is this voice? What is this voice? I'm loving it. That just, ew. I literally had to leave the classroom and I couldn't, like, I felt like I was on a puke. What? I didn't understand what was wrong. But wait, what was, what was on the leg? You just said that you saw a picture of a leg. Did it have something on it? What was going on with it? What was so weird about... Did I talk over her saying something about that? <laughs> like, is it just a leg? Is that... Is, is that why... Is that why... I don't... A leg? Um, yeah. I ended up going home. <laughs> I was a little dramatic. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I ended up saying... You? A little dramatic? As you were dramatically 
retelling this story, who would have thought? Who would have thought? And I need to go home because I don't, I didn't know what type of reaction I was having, but I don't know, but like, oh, I'm like starting to get itchy and I have the goosebumps. If you know, you know. I, I don't know because you didn't tell me what the leg looked like. I didn't, I didn't hear the part where I understood. Do you have a leg phobia or a cluster phobia or claustrophobia? Which is a thing that I have as like a tall, large human. I get so afraid of getting stuck in places. I have dreams about it like somewhat regularly where I'm like crawling through a tunnel and it just gets smaller and smaller and I get stuck. Oh my God, I hate it so much. So I told Feline about it and she was like, oh my God, I have that same thing. So it's just like oh so weird. I have like the same little fears. But anyways, whatever. Y'all are fucking soulmates. Let's, let's put a ring on it now. Soulmates. You have the same phobias? Soulmates. We went and saw Megan. Wow. I'm, I'm rambling. Indeed. And she gave it a 9 out of 10. And I honestly think I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 only uh. because... I was Props to our gay icon, Megan. Thank you. Able to sit there through the whole movie and not once feel distracted. Um, I had, of course, my little anxiety. Um, I call it anxiety to... Yeah, what is, what is, in fact, your aversion to just saying the full word, anxiety? Like, what is the aversion to that? Help me understand why why we have to abbreviate words the way that you do sometimes. Okay, I feel like I'm rambling. Let's ramble. Why not? Why not? We're here. We're here to hear me talk. Why not bedroom, sunrooms, pools, and spas, you know? So I said anxiety um, in one of my vlogs, and someone was like, oh my god, like, why are you making fun of people with anxiety? Uh, I have panic disorder. I, I didn't think that was what she was doing. That was not my interpretation. I think it's just her trying to be cute and quirky, uh, to be honest with you. I don't think it has anything to do with making fun of people with anxiety. Uh, and as a person with anxiety, just speaking for myself, not on behalf of all people with anxiety, she did not offend me. I wouldn't even use the word offensive, but if anything's offensive, it's just her, like, need to try to make all these words cute and quirky. Um, I suffer with really bad anxiety, and I oh, see, you have, can't like, say it right. social anxiety. Like, it's getting worse. I'm very much an introvert, I feel like. Um, it, it depends. During Vlogmas, I was fine in public. Like, totally fine. But there was a phase of time before that where I mean, the only places you went in public were to grocery stores or, like, stores in general to buy things. Like, how, how many people were you out and about interacting with? The, those are experiences that you can, for the most part, not interact with folks if you, if you don't want to. Like, if I was in public and I needed Feline or whoever I was with to know, like, I'm having a little bit of anxiety, I don't want to just, like... <laughs> Hey, yo, I'm having anxiety. Like, that's embarrassing. Uh -huh. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to say anxiety. The people around me know exactly what that means. And that's what matters. So, it was like a code word, if you will. And That's an awful code word. <laughs> First of all, that's an awful code word. Because if, if your point is, like, you don't want people to know that you're having anxiety based on the context of the situation. But you say, hey, Feline girly, I got to go. I have anxiety. People are gonna know you have anxiety. A code, a code word, a code situation would be something like uh, saying like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom as like a way to be like, we gotta get out of here. Or maybe not that because maybe you're, you're a person, maybe Feline would think you really need to go to the bathroom. Maybe you could say something like, Feline, I need to go reapply my makeup. And she would know, oh, I need to get Amber Lynn out of this situation. She's feeling anxiety. Okay, <laughs> like what? No, girl, you just want to be cute and quirky. So I said that and someone got offended by it. Like I didn't mean to offend I don't think trust me. We're both suffering. But yeah, I gave it Megan 10 out of 10. I feel yeah, like I did not interpret that as her trying to like make a joke about anything really truly. Rambling, I don't really know what that's about, but <laughs> might be a bad thing for my weigh-in video. Where is... If Am you, I not gonna get to wear earrings? If you don't today, leave these fucking like real earring backs behind, if you if you don't move past these earring backs, 
And and you know, I, whatever earring bag she's looking for, she probably has 12 other pairs of earrings in a whole different place in her home if she would just get up and go grab them. I like I always have them at my desk. People are like always thinking I'm sitting at my my couch. I rarely sit on my couch. It's like, why do I have a couch? No, I know you're at I'm your desk. I'm actually thinking of getting rid of the, um, because I have this really big circle, like, swivel chair in my living room that goes with my couch. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of it because I feel like it's just okay. too much space. I don't know. Um, All this right. is actually my office. <laughs> I'm at my desk. I want to wear these earrings, and I only have one back to them. So well, just I'm trying to find my other one, so that's... Just go get the backs from some other pair of earrings. I, I just don't understand. Yeah, right now. All right, I'll see you guys later. Um, I'm all right, frustrated. Go, go, turn off the camera and go look. <laughs> turn off the camera. Move your desk all the way up because if you don't know, she's at her desk that she, to get in and out of. She has to raise the standing desk. She doesn't have a standing desk to sit at. She has a standing desk to raise it up so she can she can walk under it and then get out. Okay, so so take take the camera off, turn the camera off, raise your desk, and walk and go find some earring bags. <laughs> like this is not hard. But we we recommend Megan. Such a good movie. While I'm here. I feel like I can't stop talking. Um, this was the next book that I read, Lucy in the Sky by Anonymous. See, the thing with me and books, I don't want to know that much about it before I read it. I just want to know the main point. Tell me in like two sentences or less. One or two sentences, please, because I don't want to go into it knowing the whole story. Um, and I, I have seen some people tell me that I'm not good at explaining books. I do that purposely because I don't... I share what I would want to know, and I want to know as little as possible. Okay, <laughs> wait, you might have just saw me picking up my fingers, just like breezing through the book talk, because I don't care. But she, <laughs> she really just explained away her inability to talk articulately about the books she reads and reviews, because she doesn't want to ruin them or whatever. Whatever excuse she just made <laughs> about, about why she's a bad book reviewer slays me. Slays me. What, <laughs> what a cop out. Oh, I've intentionally been bad at reviewing books because I don't, I don't like to give too much away. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 What's so funny? Earring back gate. So I opened it's, my little. It's it's only earring back gate to you. I'm so sad. Th listen, th <laughs> this is the quickest I've ever gotten over something in a long time on an Amberlynn video. But like, girl, I don't care about these damn earring backs. I don't care. In fact, the reason I really don't care is the more I think about it, she showed in one of her videos in recent history, in the past few months, that she has a whole container of just, like, earring backs that you can put on. So, like, if you lose one, they're there. I know she has earring backs available. Just go grab one. And look at what I find. My freaking earring backs. That's, that was what I was talking about. Oh my god. I guess if she couldn't find that specific thing. Does she put new earring backs in every day? I thought she just couldn't find the earring backs to those particular earrings. But that's what she was looking at. She, she uses a new set of earring backs every day. Okay. Alright. Now I'm about to do my makeup. First comes first. Bear with me, oh, my mix. This is prime, etc. Refresher, etc., etc. Got a little on my tongue. <laughs> Ooh. What, what? What do you know about getting a little bit on your tongue, Amber Lynn? What do you know about that? Mmm, yum. Hey guys, welcome to oh. week six of my weigh-in. I already watched that no, video. If you want to see my weigh-in, you can watch the last video I uploaded. Trust me, it's worth it. Is it? Was it? Was it worth it? I can't remember. <laughs> if, if you want to see what my thoughts were about that video, you can go check out my last Amber Lynn Reed video. How about that? I'll, I'll pull an Amber Lynn right there. Hey guys, it is the next hey. day. I'm running on less than three hours of sleep. Um, It is currently... 6 16 a.m. Oh damn okay let's go. I'm tired. So there's several tests that you have to get done um, before 
you get weight loss surgery and today is one of those tests I'm actually going to go to this place where I have to drink this stuff and I have to get my GI scanned right here okay well it's it's not just your what you're pointing to is your esophagus your your gastrointestinal everything is the whole digestive track it's your well I think I, I don't know correct me doctors nurses etc of my comment section correct me if I'm wrong but I would assume it's like your entire esophagus your stomach all of your intestines you, your poo poo hole all of it. Um, I've been fasting for it. Work. And I can't remember if I'm allowed to have water or not, so um, I did Google and it said you can have a little bit of water, so. Did you Did you not have, didn't you say that you had a whole big old packet of information? Just go read it, Reader Len. I've had some water, but I'm feeling a little nauseous from lack of sleep and I think I'm pretty hungry, so. I don't like getting super hungry because then like sometimes it could be triggering to get this level of hungry because then I overeat but it's like I have willpower now I'm not like gonna overeat or anything uh, I'm just like excited to have my breakfast um okay but anyways we <laughs> we just we just all of a sudden came into a, a surplus of willpower good to know good to know you know every time I think about willpower this is something none of y'all asked for but every time I think about willpower, I remember, well, I was probably kindergarten, first grade, second grade, very young, little top Zach. We were reading a frog and toad story as a class, which like frog and toad, gay icons. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'll pop a picture up of them. And the whole story was about willpower, but we didn't know that going into it. And before we got started, our teacher came around and gave us all one starburst and put it on our desk and said, all right, don't eat this. Like, you you cannot eat this. And if we didn't eat it, well, we didn't know this, but we read the whole story. And after we read the story about willpower, at the end of it, she came and gave us a second one. Well, if you didn't eat it the first time, she came around and gave everybody a second one because it was like, th that's the power of willpower, you know? Are you telling me a willpowered this, Amberlynn? <laughs> What am I doing today? I'm about to leave. I'm gonna go put on my shoes. I'm already ready, but I'm so freaking tired and I'm just like excited to get this done. I'm gonna leave my camera here. I have not been vlogging anytime that I go out. It's just obviously not really my thing thing. Very right clearly. Um, I've been focusing a lot of my content on my weight loss. Because you have. I feel like it's keeping me very, very accountable and I love that. But if I do want to film something, I got my phone. Okay, okay. I just don't want to carry this big bulky thing around. Uh, now I'm filming on my phone. It's not, it's not, I, if y'all saw my camera, it's not even that bulky, but I do understand, like, it's a whole different thing these days to be out filming on your camera than it is like a, like a, act, like on your phone versus an actual camera. Woo, struggling with the words. And this is what I film on. This is my camera. That's what I always use, but I don't feel like, um, carrying that in public. Okay, you guys, I am Hi. so tired. Um, and I just had an eyelash in my eye and I had to pick it out, so. <laughs> That's what, just what happened on my end, but. In okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for letting me know about the eyelash, the Billy eyelash. Let's see. So I thought I was just gonna have to drink like this normal like liquid that I usually get when I get like a CT scan, but. What's in her ear? Doctor. Oh wait, is it an AirPod or something? There's something in her ear. So, <laughs> I was wrong. So I was in a little radiology place and they're like, you're gonna have to drink several things and you're gonna have to stand up and then you're gonna have to lay on the bed and then you're gonna have to stretch and then you're gonna have to fake cough. Now between, between all of her being so surprised with all of these things and also not being sure if she could drink water or not, is she was she really paying attention to what she had to do? She came, she came in here and she's like, "I'm learning so much. I'm doing all the research. I got all the information. That I got this big old packet of information to read through." And you're telling me you did all that research, all that learning, and you showed up and you didn't know what you were gonna do or have to do. And then you're gonna have to fake poop, and then you're Ooh. gonna have to roll on your sides. How 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 exactly does one fake poop? 
I'm trying to think, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fake poop right now. <laughs> Does that, can you tell? <laughs> can you tell? And I was like, okay, let's do this. So at first I was standing and they had me drink this super fizzy drink. I'm talking uh -huh. about it was so fizzy, it was hard to drink. So it was like fizzing in my face. Like my oh my God. Face it was Ooh. an experience. What What do you know about your whole face getting wet, Amberlynn? And they were like, you're going to burp, but don't burp. And I was like, okay, I won't. I didn't. I listened to instructions. But the minute I left that room, I was, I, 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 let, I literally, I, I literally yes. rip, I'm not going to lie. Yes. And Today is such a good day for the pissing and shitting and farting and burping channel. Then um, they're like, here, you're going to drink this. It was like so thick. It was like white pudding. Like, take two drinks of that now. What do you know about thick white pudding? I could do this all day, y'all. I, I could do this all fucking day. So I took two drinks of that, and then they were like, okay, so here's a pill. You're going to take the pill with that super thick white drink. And I was like, okay. And I kind of gagged a little bit. Ooh, they had to same. get me a bag. They thought I was going to puke. Thinking. Actually, not same, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. I've, I've never had a problem with gagging. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I didn't. Um, it was just, like, really extreme. Oh, my God, my face is breaking out. That's cute. <sighs> but um, <sighs> next thing, they had me lay down, and I had to turn on my side and then drink this, like, sour drink out of a straw. Uh -huh. It was an interesting situation type deal, but everyone there was really nice, and I'm just good, glad good, I got good. that done. It's now, over. I can check that off the list because, let me tell you, tell there's me. quite a few things on that list, um, and it's just things are brewing. My next appointment that I know for sure that is scheduled is coming up within, like, 10 days. Okay. So, I'm really excited for that. Well, let's um, go. That one is also a very, very important one. So, we're just getting things down. Like, of course, I wish everything could just be done with a snap of a finger, but that's just, like, not sure, reality. Sure, sure, sure. And time honestly moves really quickly anyways, so I need to stop being so impatient. Yeah. I'm just, like, super excited. Please. <laughs> please. Please. I, I I just say that because, like, I know you're, like, just in this, like, excitement mode that you're always in, like, whenever you start something new. So just be patient. Just let it happen. Do what you gotta do. And just let it happen. Like, change my life. Like, I'm just, like, I don't know. You guys... <laughs> I was about to say it. I feel good. <laughs> I've been saying that in every video. Oh, my God. Okay. So, it's been a little bit since I spoke to you guys. And I officially have an appointment to do the psych evaluation. Uh, stunning. Stunning. Calling. I have my appointment scheduled. I'm so stunning. excited. They sent me some good emails of, like, questionnaires that I have to do. I'm actually really excited. I can't believe... Um, that I have an appointment for that. Like, that's been the, that's gonna be the thing that's, like, the main... Like, obviously, I want weight loss surgery like this. Like, now. Like, yeah. get to me now. Yes. You, <laughs> but that's not... That, that is, like, the second time you've said that in this video. I'm quite aware how badly you want it right now in this moment. You know, it's easy to go get my labs done. It's easy to go get my um, heart checked. It's easy to go get all these appointments and sure. Sure, all sure, that. Sure, 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 sure. The nitty-gritty is working up here. And that's the important part. So, yeah. And that part's starting. Finally. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> Mariah Carey decided not to pay me a visit. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that Mariah Carey has ever paid you a visit, girl. <laughs> let's, just, let's just be honest. Let me try again. <laughs> Bye. Okay. So, tonight for dinner. Oh, come on, wings. We are having some baked chicken wings. Okay. Which is just has seasoning on it, and we just put it on aluminum foil. So I'm loving the, the tongue work. Favorite. Oh my god! So this is my Titanic box, my second box. Okay. Of three, because my Lego Titanic is massive, and I just finished the second box. Well, I'm almost done with it. I have one bag left. But Rarity and Wasabi said, "You know what? This box is mine now." Is this the only Titanic update we're getting? I don't get to see the actual Lego. Look how beautiful they are. So. Oh, oh there she is. There she is. Beautiful, beautiful. Give you guys an update on my Titanic. I know Thank it's been you. a while, but this is how much I have done. She's looking stunning. It's a lot. Um, I'm on the last book. It comes with three. And 
Yeah, like it's amazing. She's uh, stunning. So I just took a picture of it. Hi guys, so I am filming an outro because oh. I feel bad when it just stops abruptly. Thank, thank you. Um, I, this is so interesting to me that she she's like, I literally just said that in a video, like, oh, why does this stop abruptly? I have a feeling she probably didn't actually watch it because she does normally, I, I feel like she's back into the habit of filming earlier, like having some stuff pre-recorded. So this probably all got done before I even posted that video, but it is very curious. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sure, I and did. Actually, I hope that you guys are feeling as good as I am. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I did enjoy it, mostly from my own entertainment that I made for myself. I'm sorry that I'm so funny. <laughs> I had some people, I laughed at myself really hard in a video uh, in the past few months, maybe just sometime during Vlogmas, and somebody was like, Zach, how dare you get upset with Amber Lynn for laughing at her own jokes when you're laughing at your own dumb jokes? And I said, you know what? <laughs> I can't help it, I'm so funny! Oh my god. Anyways, I had a lot of fun today. I don't have anything else to add, so... If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below and hit the bell button so you get a notification. I have a new 1,000 pound bestie video coming at you tomorrow. And if you haven't caught up on all the 1,000 pound sisters, make sure to go watch those videos as well. Uh, make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media, including Twitch, including Cameo, including buying some merch. And above all else, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day. Bye!